there we go. Live again, once more, we return to Sigil Confidential. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Hello. <laughs> How is everyone? Hanging in there, doing I. Good, good. Good, good, good. I'm excited. We've got great things in store, potentially, depending. Um, I don't think the scrubber is going to blow up on you tonight, so th there's that. Preferably. Yes, but you have informed us that you have been creating new monsters for this <laughs> campaign, so... Oh, I wouldn't worry. <laughs> Always question the DM saying things are going to go great tonight. Speaking of, there's... There's our little scrubber. There's our little scrubber and... A little atmospheric tunnel shot for you guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, what just happened there? That was weird. Did I just somehow pop the chat out? You can you do can that. Do yeah. that. Apparently. There is a button. There's a content warning. Top right corner. There's a button. I was like, <laughs> I have destroyed the chat. Okay. <laughs> I had to refresh to get it back. That was much easier. All right, but yes, we are here. Uh, Morning. That was that was new. Well, I noticed it was an option, and it seemed like the the good thing to do. <laughs> you know, warn people in advance, like, hey, there might be some violence and gore, and hey, we do use foul language sometimes. Don't watch this with your grandma. Unless she's into that. Barks. Exactly. So, Prim, do you want to bring us in? But of course. <laughs> Last time on Sigil Confidential, Jimmy tried chatting up the scrubber like he would any other person, but he was getting nowhere. After Saren informed the crew that it only understands commands, they gave it the order to lead them to the reactor along a path that everyone could fit through. The maintenance tunnels turned out to be much larger than they originally believed. They squeezed their way through the winding tunnels, which occasionally opened up into large chambers that had their own macabre displays. A video feed of an elf screaming in terror? A caked on powdery substance that Saren referred to as corpse starch. Art of the Haru specs getting damaged with humanoid figures gradually morphing into something monstrous while oval shaped figures plotted revenge and hiding, and what looked like a victorious statue of a scrubber standing atop a pile of humanoid bones. Eventually, they reached a large cylindrical chamber where multiple tunnels egressed, and scrubbers were flying in and out. The scrubber leading them turned and handed a device to the crew, and the unwelcome voice of Shepard Scratch came over it. He accused them of not intending to hold up their end of the bargain, and gave them less than three days to fulfill it before the reactor exploded, revealing that he was the one who set it off. All of this despite the angler advising them that they were going somewhere Scratch couldn't follow. He also revealed that the scrubber wasn't what it appeared to be, and it started beeping. The crew managed to stop the bot from exploding and killing them all, and with it back to normal, they rode a platform down to the next leg of their journey. From the chamber they stopped in, they continued to make their way through the treacherous trap-filled tunnels before entering into another large chamber, where multiple skins were pinned to the wall to dry humanoid skins. Deeply disquieted, they asked Saren to check her map to see if they were still on the correct path to the reactor. She found herself unable to check her map. Her wrist device had broken when she fell into a trap earlier, so they had no way of knowing where they were. Do these scrubbers have a vendetta against humanoids? And is the crew being led into a dangerous situation? Will they be able to finally shake Shepard Scratch for good? There will be hell to pay all over again on Sigil Confidential, the Uncanny Odyssey. Very good. Very good. 
I'm glad we have these. So before we dive in, I have to ask, are your gaming nights feeling a bit mundane? Mm. Are your dice rolling results leaving you as disappointed as a bard without an audience? Well, fear not, dear gamers. Let me introduce you to Skull Splitter Dice, the game changers that will make your opponents quake in their boots and have you rolling in fun. Behold, adventurers, feast your eyes upon the very dice that Thor himself would wield if he were a tabletop gamer. These aren't your regular dice. They're metal forged straight from the heart of Mount Awesome. Holy crit, ladies and gentlemen. Go get you some. <laughs> I see somebody's been doing some punch-up work. Yeah. 11 out of 10, Adrian. <laughs> but now that that's out of the way, and thank you, Skull Splitter, for sponsoring us, are we ready to dive in? I'm good to go. Good deal. All right, so when we were last standing, we were still moving through these strange maintenance tunnels, heading towards, hopefully, the reactor, being led by the scrubber. Is the scrubber still in the bubble? Because that would be really funny. No, I think no. you guys took him out. Oh. That thing only lasts a minute, too, so, like, it would have gone away like well over an hour ago there you got a little image of the scrubber there for you guys <laughs> great love it love to see it. the scrubber he won't be engaging in combat or anything but <laughs> unless you guys fight him <laughs> so they have to you never know you never know he's been pretty chill so far he has, but also all of these art installations are very concerning. <laughs> he hasn't been bothered by them a bit, or at least that you could tell. He's hard to read. <laughs> well, yeah, that he's one of the scrubbers. Like <laughs> All of uh, the art we've seen have been like humanoids getting their just desserts, not the scrubbers. Oh, yeah. I know we nearly lost this too, but this too was a fast thinker and a fast mover and saved themselves in the nick of time, ironically. You know, nick of time, but it's... Um, and we had a time trying to get them clean. We nearly lost Saren, too. Yes, it's, it's been getting a little uh, dangerous getting through the tunnels. And I believe we left off in, were we in a tunnel or were we in uh, that room? We were in the chamber with the skins. Oh, Christ. We're still in the chamber with the skins. Okay. And I believe there was... This was one of those uh, rounded chambers still with lots of exits, if I remember correctly. So... Yes. Are we still following Yon Scrubber? Uh, I don't believe we had reacted yet to the skins. All right, so we'll, we'll we pick up We kind of did. That's <laughs> we, we can continue re our reaction to the skins if you'd like. I don't mind. By all means. <laughs> I look around. I look around. I refuse to worry about this. <laughs> this is fine. I'm on team shirts. Yeah. <laughs> it's a solid reaction. <laughs> it's a safe reaction too. Anybody else want to do anything with the skins? Roll up a few, take with you. Bryn's reaction was to ask Saren if we were still going the right way, so <laughs> she's just going to like purse her lips, stay silent, and head continue on. Yeah, Saren's still lost, especially with her uh, wrist unit being damaged. She's even more lost than normal now. Mm. You want to try and fix it? I want to... Yeah, I've got a thing for that, I think. It's called mending. Mending will not quite do this. Oh. It, it's too complex. Too complex a piece of machinery. Okay. Uh, reading it over just to be sure, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too complex. Too many moving or working parts, not moving necessarily. 
That's all right. You got the scrubber. So are we carrying on then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. I I will confidently walk into the skin decorated tunnels. All right. So the scrubber moves to the center of the room and begins a downward arc into one of the the central tunnels that leads straight down. Uh, it's it's about three feet wide. I fit comfortably. Mm -hmm. I'll Dra manage. Draken, on the other hand, is having to suck in. <laughs> Unless he's is he polymorphed still? I can't remember. I don't think he's currently a newt. That's right. He used his concentration on something else. So yeah, he's having to kind of squish in. Uh, Rat, you're still hovering. Uh, is too. Are you doing anything special, or just climbing? I think I'm just climbing. Okay. And I'm preparing to cast Featherfall with my reaction if I fall. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's it's a very tight fit. So just using your own body to kind of brace yourself and wiggle your way down is not too difficult. It's a little tiring, but I'm not going to make you roll. You're heroes. <laughs> um, just noting that that spell is verbal and uh, material, not somatic. So if like, we get in a tight spot, I can still cast it. Oh, yeah. It, it's too learned a valuable list. <laughs> All good. Luckily for you, this only goes down about 30 feet before it hits an elbow junction and turns a sharp 90 degree angle uh, to your right, depending on which way you're facing, obviously. But it's it's an elbow junction. So you are actually able to catch your feet, kind of crouch down. It's about four feet in diameter. Um, it's dank, very smelly in this tunnel. There's a lot of unknown mildew or mold growing along the walls as you go in. There's a kind of coating of some sort of dark brownish colored slime. Um, smells smells kind of like a bayou on a summer day when somebody disturbs the water. Uh, that kind of rot vegetation smell. Not ideal, but we've done worse. Yeah, we made it through the algae farms. So it's still carrying on, I take it? Yes, carrying on. Yes. Okay. Smart move, Brent. Able to walk comfortably. Oh yeah, she's been doing this the entire time. <laughs> Shape-shifting as needed. Okay. So. As always, pay no mind. Mm-hmm. Interesting. All right. Uh, is two, I believe, aside from the scrubber, you are in the lead, correct? If we entered a room and were able to reorder ourselves, I would have liked to do that. Sure, sure. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Yeah, because oh, Istu was forced to be in the front before we <laughs> entered the chamber with the skins based on how they, um, you know, sort of got out of all that mess so yeah no yeah. go ahead go ahead and yeah. shift shift around it's if based you... on the casting of dimension door yes um i don't know who wanted to lead the party i think rat was originally in the lead rat okay. and jimmy i think that um you were back was Stu behind be, Bryn. this yeah. would be near center yeah so there there we go all right. There's an order and I just didn't zoom out, sorry. No, you're good, you're good. All right, so in that case, Rhett. Uh-huh. Um, now you're generally a pretty perceptive individual. Most of you are, with the yeah, exception of Drake. 26. Yeah. So you notice about 40 feet down this tunnel, it, the, the growth, the, the dank rot that kind of clings to the walls, 
gets thicker and thicker and darker and drippier and gooier and you're kind of slipping and sliding a little bit but you notice the scrubber ahead of you, you know it's hovering just a few inches off the ground it actually kind of goes up and over something on the ground and, and continues on and as it does so you kind of see something glint off the light of its its uh, its blue levitation device okay. and, um, I kind of hold up my hand as kind of a, like a stop I make a fist so like, hey hold up a second guys um, uh, can I try and disarm the potential trap maybe okay, give me an investigation roll Seventeen. Okay. So the first thing you notice as you brush away some of the muck is that this is actually an old satchel, ratty and rotten, uh, covered with mold and mildew. But inside are about fifteen solid gold bricks. Jeez. Oh. That's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we divvy them up, do you think? It's a traditional thing to do. Yeah, it would be appropriate. Uh, yeah, I'm losing jink just being here. <laughs> Probably not something to worry like to think about right now, though. Like, we're in the middle of some stuff. Let's just haul them along for now. Yeah, just get the sodding be- bag. It, does they, my does my vest of holding hold right now, or are we still in a place where it wouldn't hold? It still wouldn't hold. Okay. Um, to, to give you a, I actually had to look this up, but to give you a, an idea, these weigh about two pounds each. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's only like thirty pounds. Huh? Yeah. I mean, it's nothing insane. It, that bag that they're in not is not going to do you any good, though. <laughs> no, the bag's not going to work. Um, does anybody have a, a holding container? Like a backpack that's uh, got 30 pounds of space available? Well, you know, as pirate captain, I think I can I can hold the loot. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're going to need a new sack, though. Oh, I have a very impressive bag, actually. Yeah, I do, I do too, generally, but we're in interplanar space, so it doesn't work. Mine's not magic, it's just nice. <laughs> Okay. How many gold bars was this, church? Fifteen. Fifteen, all right. Weighing two pounds each. Mm-hmm. All right, it has been noted. All right. So, uh, if you want to note it down, they're worth about 100 gold a piece. Ooh, nice. So just, just for note. Um, but yeah, you gonna carry on after? The scrubber kind of waits for you. Yeah. Okay. So the corridor that you're in, it begins to arc to the right at, at a, a a bit of a bend, and then slightly down. And you get the sense that it's very slowly winding around. And you walk for a while, and and this muck and goo just, it's it's, it's tiring. It's almost draining to be around. Like, you can, it's just gross. You can't not touch it. No matter what you do, it'll drip on you, or you'll brush the wall. It's getting on your clothes. Your boots are filthy. The smell is just stuck in your nose. You know what feels like forever. Um, it, it's getting hotter and hotter the further down you go. And although it's not necessarily enough to penalize you, like you get that kind of claustrophobic. It's hard to breathe sense by the the smell and the heat and the fumes and the closeness of being in this little tunnel. Um, and just as it's kind of really starting to get overwhelming, and you feel like you've probably made a couple rotations, you've been walking for a while, uh, as you come around the bend up ahead, you see an opening into what appears to be a lit room 
in the distance. A fairly decent sized room by the look of it. Uh, the scrubber's keeping pace but not going very fast that's fine neither are we through this okay fair enough so continuing on you come to the edge of the room <clears throat> and the edge of the doorway let's say um, and you notice First off, right off hand, it is very large. Uh, it's filled with some strange, okay, Brent, that's cool. Uh, strange looking apparatus and, and equipment that none of you recognize, big, strange angles and, and curves. It's a very large, very vaulted room uh, with a lot of artificial light sources kind of flickering on and off throughout it. Um, and in the center, there's a large, kind of dome shape, uh, almost like a building structure. There's a lot of like frosted glass around it. You can't quite see through it, but it's there. Uh, it looks like almost like a window of some sort, a curved kind of angled window that goes around it. Uh, and this I have prepared for. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, oh, nice. <laughs> so, sorry I moved somebody there. We're going to get you guys in there. Is that every Okay, yeah, that's everybody. So yeah, you guys kind of come in. There we go. And we don't need the square anymore in here. <laughs> so we'll zoom in. On you guys. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Uh, once again, lots of strange apparatus all over. Uh, large dome in the center of the room. Artificial lights flickering on and off. You can hear this kind of hum. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Just kind of distant, this rhythmic kind of pulsing sound. But beyond that, uh, the only thing you notice is there is a slightly raised dais uh, like structure right here. And there appears to be a chair, like a laid back, lounged out type chair, ratty and kind of old. Uh, it was maybe leather at one point, it's kind of rotted and cracked and faded. But there is a corpse in a spacesuit. Uh, it, or, or you think it's a spacesuit. I'm going to just use the word spacesuit since we've kind of determined that's what those are. But, <laughs> um, laying in it with its head lulled to one side, not moving. Jimmy has determined this is the best armor he's ever seen or heard of. Spacesuit he doesn't really know about, but let's go look at the corpse. All right. You go to look at the corpse. All right. Um, upon closer inspection, much like the uh, others that you've seen, it appears to be fused to its own suit, only worse than before. Like this creature, whatever it was to begin with, has vastly, vastly changed. It's almost more of a twisted remnant of what it once was. This elf, perhaps, you think? Mm. Um, but something has happened to this creature. The, it's fused with its suit, and there's what you're seeing laid out in this chair is this horrifying amalgamation of like flesh and technology like fused together it's twisted and grotesque and the limbs are distorted and distended kind of elongated and twisted and, and strange looking the face doesn't even really look entirely humanoid anymore uh, the eyes are these kind of milky white orbs with no pupils just you feel like 
staring out into emptiness maybe or maybe even unnervingly it could be looking at you you're not really sure you think it's worth it to try and communicate with this one Jimmy or do you think it might be ambulatory and attack us like the others I, I'm a little concerned not not super I'm mostly mystified Whoever this was, they are pretty far gone by the time they went down. I'm just shocked they came back and sat back in a chair like a normal person. Church, what's the scrubber been doing since we entered the room? Uh, the scrubber is actually right about where he's at. Uh, just not moving. Hmm. Here, I, you know what? I totally forgot to put his cute little nameplate on him. There we go. Scrubber. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's not moving. Or it or whatever. Huh. Don't think I've seen them do that before. I do not see a nameplate. On the scrubber? No. It's... I think they're only visible by default on tokens you control. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I have them turned on for everyone. So. <laughs> yes, the stream appreciates. Um, but I, I look at the scrubber and I say, huh, do you think we're here? Mm. Hey, Saren, is this what a reactor looks like? She steps timidly into the room and looks around and Looks actually confused. She says, I have no idea what this is. It was worth a try. Hmm. Ah. I did command it to lead us to the reactor. Is there any signage that, that is in a language that I can't read? No. Is there nothing that says what kind of room this is? There was uh, one of those crystalline panels that show strange illusions on the side of the chair that the corpse is sitting in, but it's dark. Cool, cool. Uh, Taryn, do you want to try to sit in the chair? No. <laughs> She's eyeballing the thing in the chair, no. Well, I mean, we move <laughs> the thing in the chair, and then, and then you try the chair, right? <laughs> <laughs> the thing in the chair could be one of the undead that has been attacking us. It is also fused oh, with a suit like the others. Blow it to chunks first. No, we don't do that because it, if it's not ambulatory, then it could be of use to us. Of you? What? Here, we're going to test this the easy way. I, I poke the corpse. You poke the corpse? Yeah. Okay. As you touch the corpse, its head jerks around and locks onto you, Jimmy. Yes. And you feel this pulse of cold energy lay into your brain directly. Uh... What's your flat-footed AC? Big. Good. <laughs> Hit me. It's 26. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh... You managed to kind of stave it off, but you felt it, and the thing launches to its feet. Do, do, do. Boom. <laughs> There we go. Al, can I blow it to giblets? Well, we're yep. gonna... We're gonna... We're blowing it to giblets. It is time. Where... You also hear movement in the back of the room. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Is that them? I think that's it. <laughs> is that all? I think that's all I put there. Okay. So... We are going to, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit clear on this like whole bunch of times here, real quick. Clear, let, clear, let us hope. clear, 
We don't want any aberrations. <laughs> All right. Okay, so yeah, let's get some initiative rolls, ladies and gentlemen. We are diving right into it. Ew. <laughs> what are these rolls? They're not great. I, you know, I was, you know, I was a little surprised. I was, I took my first action poking it. So. Well, I didn't roll very good either, so you're good. Uh, only a couple of 22s. And uh, if so somebody could get... Uh, Draken, too. Yeah, I should be able to pilot the Draken. We don't want to leave him out. I mean, you can leave him out. It's okay. I don't mind. He's too powerful. And I should get Saren in on this, too. Huh? Mine should be 16. It doesn't... All right. We'll have to add that modifier into your character sheet. There we go. I can't imagine that you would ever not use it, right? <laughs> There we go, there's Saren. Just uh, just flop over to your gear real quick. Uh, it's on the middle column one. Initiative modifier, just to, uh, change it to a five real quick. Depends on the situation. So what, what should it be, 17? Uh, 16. 16, okay. It's just plus five, but I may or may not want to use it depending on the situation, I don't know. Okay. Sometimes you want to go last in the order to let people do things first, sorry. You're good. All right, there we go. We are initiated. Okay. Master Missa, I'm here with the big brain temporal plays. <laughs> Sometimes you won't want to go late. All right, so. Breaking my brain two weeks in a row. <laughs> I built a whole character class for you in the new Cairn system. <laughs> How would you like to be a cowboy? Eh. All right, so you guys hear one just get up out of his chair as, as the, the action starts, and you hear this slap, 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 slap of its feet against the metal as it just dodges past all these bits of equipment and cables and machinery. It's just like parkouring your direction at high speed, these big crazy bug eyes and strange looking mutated face as it's just tearing for you. Rat, you're up. <laughs> uh, right. Um, I slap my cannons together. <laughs> slap. Uh, chunk, chunk. Alright. Under barrel, the over barrel, you know. All the, all the good things. And then this one in front of us, I haven't really... Just, we're just, we're just gonna do... Um... You going for the one in front of you? The one in front of me. Okay. We're we gonna do... Uh... Lightning bolt. Is that thirty one? Thirty one to hit. Thirty one to hit. With six and eleven for damage. Okay. And then the bonus action, the ballista go off. Okay. Solid. So it's a, looks like a crit there. It does. All right. Give me. Oh. Let me get my calculator out real quick, because math is hard. That's a lot of numbers. <laughs> That's a nice crit. Okay. That was the one right in front of you? Yes. And then that'll be two five foot knockbacks. Okay. So one, two. Alright. All right. That it for you? Okay. Draken. Okay. 
I think what Draken was, would do is take one look at this guy who just stood up and say, Oh no, not more of you. <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and hit them with Rolothim's Psychic Lance. Ooh. I don't know his sheet super well. Let me see if I can get it to go off. Yeah, I think... Was that oh, a... there we go. I think you got the first one. We'll go one. with the first one. Yeah. yeah, it just didn't pop up on my screen very quickly. So it is a, it is a save rather than a two hit, so it's got to make an end save. All right. It did not it did make not. the end save. So, as a result, it takes the 21 psychic damage, mm -hmm. and as it has failed its save, it is incapacitated until the start of Draken's next turn. All right. It does seem to ring its bell. However, you notice it, it seems to shrug off some of the damage. Mm-hmm. I guess that's the polite way of saying it. <laughs> that's fair enough. Um, Draken says aloud, Oh no, these don't have brains either. Uh, there's some intelligence going on here, for sure. It was more of a resistance. Mm. Like it fought back. <laughs> yes. All right. He doesn't think very highly of them. He assumes he, if the psychic <laughs> stuff doesn't hurt you, you're either super smart or you have no brain. you just dumb. Uh, is that it for Draken? Yeah, that's. I'm not going to burn all of his nice shit. I don't know how to use it well enough. Alright. Saren's going to fire at the same one. Nice. Seven radiant. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys see, like, chunks of this thing fly off as her beam hits it. Searing hole forms in its shoulder. It's two. You're up. This is going well so far. Hmm. Um. Don't want to get closer to that thing. <laughs> sure you uh, do. <laughs> no. Hmm. We're gonna we're gonna chill back here. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what's causing that, but I don't, I don't really, I'm not a fan, so we're just gonna, we're gonna hang back here and stay nice and safe with our itchy and blotchy and scaly and, like, crusty looking skin. <laughs> From whatever guck that was that was on me, and it's just your you, you, uh, you just see, like, a, a hand and go over their chest, <laughs> you're like, Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> Protection nah. from gunk. This two needs some lubriderm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that it for you, S2? <laughs> That's it for me. Alright. Another one starts trekking full speed. Slap, 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 slap across the metal floor just leaping and diving over various obstacles to get at you. Those bulging, white, milky eyes geared straight at the ghost. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Alright. Speaking of, Bryn, you are up. Yeah, so it's the one right in front of Bryn that's charging? Uh, no, you've got one here. One here. Uh, the one right in front of you guys here, and then one back here. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. She's got one in front of her who is more of an immediate threat, so let's see what tail we get, shall we? Beloved hmm. friends. <laughs> okay, let's see. Avenger's generally pretty good. Let me see real quick. Yeah, so, hmm. This should be good. Well, let's see. Saren is at risk of getting hit, so... She's generally pretty squishy. I'm going to give Saren Avenger. Alright. Yeah, and then Bryn is going to come back here. And that's her turn. 
All right, that certainly works. That brings us to our next. All right, so this one actually runs full speed, flap, flap, flap once again, leaping over obstacles and begins to climb up the side of the dome as if it's crawling over it to get at you. Uh, and the last one, the one in front, uh, well, Jimmy, you're closest. <laughs> I am indeed. He'll take that five foot leap up and here we go. See yeah, how well, bad they're looking. We're going to go, what was your AC again? 26. Thanks for the armor, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, four to five. Hey! Great fumble. Which I'll roll for in a second. Not quite. <laughs> and the uh, the pulse once again hits you. And, and you like, you manage to kind of shrug it off. But we do have a crit fumble. Yeah. Everybody loves it when uh, the bad guys get them. Except for me. <laughs> <laughs> Except for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, goodness. No, not a d12. We want a d20. <laughs> Maybe I should have stuck with a d12. <laughs> hmm. wouldn't work <laughs> we, are, we have located an impossible fumble I, it, it was supposed to be like an item gets broken but it's not uh, it doesn't have those. yeah it's not really carrying anything let, let me get my big table well, let's get the big table you can't go wrong with the big table uh... <laughs> All right he, he takes a swipe at you and swings and misses so hard that he stumbles over some cabling on the ground and goes down. He's now prone. Nice. <laughs> That's much better than uh, breaking a potion or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for him. Jimmy. I look down at him and say, ooh, and that's a bad miss, and I'll just stab him. <laughs> well, real quick, before you do... Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now that he's right up close to you and active, mm -hmm. you feel this almost sickening sensation emanating from it. Oh, must I make a save? Yes, please, a con save. You got it. Solid. I'm in there. All right. You need. You managed to shrug it off, but you can feel it. Like it was working on you for a second there. There's something coming off of this thing. Uh, nothing in here is healthy. <laughs> but yes, it's your turn. All right, so I've, he is prone. He I is have prone. advantage. You do. I have sneak attack as a result. Okay. I apply all of the many things. This is going to be big. <laughs> uh, solid yeah. hit. Not bad. Oh, it could have been so much more, man. Look how many ones I rolled in that yeah, sneak I know. attack. <laughs> Still a solid but hit, though. It's a good start. So, uh, 32, I believe that is. That is indeed. Okay. I assume he's still fine. Uh, he's still up. He looks a little worse for the wear, but he's still up. Okay. Like you're carving pieces off of him. No, nah, I don't want to cheat too, too hard. Uh, I did not say that I had both swords drawn. In fact, I've had one sword drawn for most of this last arc. But I, I see the enemy forces coming over the horizon. I would like to bonus action draw my other blade, the stalwart wall. All right. Solid. Is that it? Yeah, that's all I'm going to do this turn. All right. I will call out to the party... Uh, Stay back from them. They got a bit of an unhealthy uh, ambience. 
<laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Cinder is up. Okay. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, you got him, Rap. Good to you. This. Uh, I'm also still not very familiar with the character. And, you know. So, what we're going to just do is Eldritch Blast four times. <laughs> All right, go ahead. The, uh, the still close one. Okay. Uh, the second one missed. The others hit. So that's see here. 33? Mm -hmm. No, 31. 31? I'm going to trust your math. 9, 24. Okay. 31. Yeah, that works. Yeah, there, there's like pieces missing off, chest cavity exposed, some organs spilling out, black ichor oozing from its mouth and wounds as it's Still scrabbling across the floor, trying to get back up on its feet. Hit it for Cinder? Yep. Right. You love to see a high level Eldritch Blast. Just start rolling the dice, don't stop. Just, just throw them all. Alright, so this one moves up to here. Going to pulse Saren. Should have hit Jimmy with that. Huh? <laughs> oh, it would have missed. So yeah, Saren takes that one. Uh, you you guys see her kind of grab her head and, and reel back as some invisible force strikes her. That wasn't anything like a melee attack, was it? No, no, it, it was a ranged spell attack, technically. Um, okay. Can I ask a question about the damage that was recently done by Cinder? Yeah. Yeah. Was that also done with the agonizing blast detached because it's one of his Eldritch invocations? I think it automatically factors it in if it's on the sheet. It's yeah, just on the sheet within the text of his Eldritch invocations. I don't see it added to the modifier, but I don't. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's it's factored in on the rolls. It's yeah. It just I adds think. your charisma bonus, right? Yeah, cool. yeah, I see the Christian. Yeah, it's on. Okay. This man's not rolling a 15 on a D10 otherwise. Hey. <laughs> no harm in, in trying, though. Certainly no harm. Two 15s on D10s. Wow. Nice. <laughs> um, now, the one that just did that, however. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. They have a trick, don't they? Well, they have a few. They have a few. Um, it, uh, you could all, you could swear this thing through its hideous malformed mouth kind of smiles as it sees Saren reel back and it moves its hands in a strange gesture and pulses out and this strangely colored ball of fire goes hurling at the party. Mm. Oh, oh reaction. Fire? What? Counter spell. Thank you. Fire? <laughs> fire? <laughs> are That's you are you counterspelling? Alright. You counterspell the fireball. <laughs> Is it, hmm? No. Uh, it looks a little irritated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, but it is a level three spell, so. You, you got it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> all right. Rat, you're up. Uh, all right. I recognize what this one just tried to do. <laughs> My first time in a war zone. Um. He can make 
a dex save. Alright, Sacred Flame. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the uh, DC? 21? 21. 17. It's gonna... I'm just gonna laser it. Laser point it. This one? And call in a... Call in a... Yeah. Okay. A, a radiant beam. Right. 23 plus 6? 29? And then we'll hit him with the Force Ballista. Okay. Uh, second one is 17, 25, 4, 19. Nice. Force. Nice. Five foot knockback. All right. Uh, that'll knock him back to here. All right. Anything else for Rat? Uh, nope. That'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Draken's up. Okay. He looks at the near one, he looks at the far one. Hey, do you got that one, Jimmy? <laughs> ah, yeah, I probably got this one. <laughs> He's going to target the far one. Mm. Mm. Spell list, spell list. Hey, is it going to blow up if I cast Fireball? Uh, you're not... This one to Saren. Oh. I mean, I don't know if anything in here is combustible. I don't know where we are. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> so he's going to target a fireball over here where it can strike these two. Oh, okay. Good deal. What's, uh, what's that? Level-based casting... Bump the D6s. Yeah, sure. Let's have more D6s. Why not? Alright. Um, real quick. Before that happens. Sure. <laughs> ha! They know counterspell. <laughs> um, can I counterspell the counterspell? Oh, are we going to oh. go down oh, that no. route? Are we going to go down that route? Is it possible to counterspell the counterspell? You can be Wait. Wait. Of note, Draken is uh, casting this one at a higher level. I did, so he would have to probably roll for it. What, what level are you casting it? I think I cast it at fifth. Fifth? Yeah. Ten plus the spell's level. Yeah, so he's got to hit it with a 15. Okay. Uh, I forget, what is this, a save? Uh, it's a DC with spellcasting ability. Oh, with his spellcasting yeah. ability. Yeah, okay. ability check using your spellcasting ability. Had to be to 15. Nope. Look at that. Womp womp. He's not in there today. My fireball <laughs> no. too beefy. There you go. So, is this the set you hear? Yeah, this is the fireball for 25. DC yeah. 19 dex save for half. Yeah. Nope. All right. Nope so and nope. That's 25 for both of them. Look at that. Draken coming in in the clinch. The might of Draken's golden brain simply forces it past the counter spell. <laughs> um, oh, I have to make a roll here. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to explode? Probably uh, not with the 26. Uh, no, but you see a large crack form in the glass from the impact of the concussion. Maybe not another one. Maybe one's plenty. Yeah. Anything else for Draken? Nah, I think that's his turn. Okay. Saren. Saren, poor Saren. She shouldn't even be here. <laughs> Get behind me. Uh, she's gonna fire at the closest one again. Solid. Tagged him again. Nice. Time. She's pretty good with that thing. <laughs> yeah? It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it hits regularly. <laughs> All right. Uh, Istu. You're up. Um, this is probably the dumbest thing that Istu's ever said. 
<laughs> Sorry, it's a deadly laser. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, uh, so this thing right here is in front of us. I've already done the spell. Blah. blah. It's not going to come after me, no. So I'm going to try to move back into configuration okay. with everyone else to try to take advantage of that fear thing because I'm getting a little spooked over here. Mm. Um, and we will... Um, movement, action, bonus action. We're going to just hold for something to get closer to this group. Um, for us to fight it because I don't really I don't have anything that's good with undead and uh, I would like to wait since they're launching spells and running at us and doing all these things okay. it would be great to, to have a held action for a t an attack you know so prepped and ready alright right. that goes to our boy here hmm so many ch choices here. Siren is a deadly laser. Um, yeah, let's do this. He casts a spell. <laughs> uh, I believe centering it. Hmm. Yeah, he's going to catch all of you. I can't counter that? You're welcome to try. Yeah, it's level mm -hmm. four. Yeah, yeah. Level four. What do you do for that? What's the DC? Uh, this would be a. Oh, it didn't put the save, did it? It'd be fourteen. Let's see. The counter spell DC, rather than the uh, the actual DC. Yeah. I thought it had his so, spell DC in here. So roll a, like, D20 with your uh, spell casting ability. Yeah. Oh no, Which it's... Is the same thing that we did with the advanced dice roller, right? So his would be a 16. Actually, I had to check. It is on there. It's just not printing it. His would be a 16. Do you upcast that? It, well, yeah, he has a, a couple bonuses on that, too. Okay. Just the nature of what he is. <laughs> so my spellcasting modifier is my uh, proficiency plus intelligence, right? Yes. Okay. Don't be scared. You got this. Mm. You got this. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 I can do a thing here. 16, you said? Yeah. Right. Hey. Look at that. Look at that. Um. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> We're in it now. <laughs> We have oh, opened boy. Pandora's <laughs> box of counter spells. Oh boy, here we go. counter spells all the way down. Oh, I mean, we, we did this to Keon. Like, we literally <laughs> had, like, I think it was Drake and counter spell a counter spell. So, like. It's a fine, right. time honored DD tradition. Someone else's turn. Let's go. Vengeance is mine. No, I'm just joking. So, uh, we're just going to do this. Uh -huh. I think that's... Won't catch Jimmy. I think, yeah, boom. That'll do. So yeah, there's an ice storm going. <laughs> Which I believe I rolled for, yeah. You did, you did. Uh, but you, n you never did fi figure out the DC for it. Uh, 16. Okay. So we all need to make deck saves. Yeah, deck saves. Oh yeah, I forgot about Cinder's bonus. <laughs> yes. Hey, don't forget Five the bonus for everyone. Those are 
are solid. <laughs> All right. Maybe not everyone will make it. <laughs> So it's 17 <clears throat> or half. Oh, actually, it's a DC 20. Goodness. It says they're on the spell. Okay. So, yeah, it's a. Uh, who are we missing? Draken. Ah, yes, let me. Thank you. It says it on the spell ice storm that the DC is 20. I don't think a 10 is getting there. No. Yeah, it does. Where, where I actually that... rolled the spell. DC 20 deck save. So, it basically... This creature in the cylinder must make it... I don't see a... Uh, look above that. Above that. The actual roll. Huh. But yeah, 17 for failed saves half in your favor for past. I will adjust the court. Alright. So half in our favor would be eight. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I had to think. Yes. <laughs> Alright, but that's that's it for him. Bryn, you are up and in an ice storm. Yeah, so Bryn is mildly pissed off. Um, let's see. Hmm. What do I want to do here? So rolling another tail will end the effect that it has on Saren, though it's not, like, things aren't really coming at us with melee damage. Let's determine another tail. Oh. <laughs> oh, good shit. Um... Let's see, one of these is uh, psychic damage though. So, hmm. I don't think Phantom's really going to do anything too special though. So, you know what? I'm just going to hit this one with Mind Bender. All right. And oh, that sucky damage. What the fuck? The, <laughs> 3d12. The, that's the close, the close one? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, is it save or nothing? Uh, looks like it, yeah. Okay. yeah. Alright, so... Bad luck, he max rolled. <laughs> yeah. Still a good try. Would you like to do anything else for you? I uh, know, that's my full action economy, so... Alright. Max Q. Back around to the these good old boys um, this one up here has reached the top of this dome and uh, opens a small panel on the top and jumps into it I thought he was prone no, this no one, he's referring to this guy this one up here yeah I thought he was prone no, this, this this one's prone. Oh, okay. Uh, you're not sure what he's doing inside the panel. It looks like he jumped into the dome. Which brings us to this guy. I'm sure, it's fine. Who is prone? Who is prone? He will stand up. <laughs> Sensible. Which, which I think this just takes half his movement, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. And, uh... You know what? He's gonna... I tried to murder him a lot. He's gonna scramble to his feet. And he's gonna lock eyes on you, Jimmy. And you're gonna feel just this wave of psychic force hit you. Mm -hmm. I need you to make a DC 16 wisdom save, please. Wisdom save, you got it. Remember, plus five. We in there. Well... Uh, 
No worries there. You manage to stave it off, which angers him, and he takes a swipe at you. Nope. Missing as well. He's he's pretty he's pretty ragged too. Like there's pieces of this thing missing. Um, he he's been beat up pretty bad. But that'll bring us around to you, Jimmy. I will allow this creature a moment's rest. In fact, perhaps another eternity's rest. <laughs> uh, take the sneak attack off. I don't have that on this guy right now, actually. First time in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that would have been a solid hit, too. Would have been a smack. It takes 15 slashing. Though. 15, all right. All right, you cleave a, a pretty nice solid chunk out of him. All right, still standing? Still standing. Wobbly, but standing. All right, and we follow through. We gotta talk about that sneak attack. Eleven. Eleven. All right. He kind of almost shuffles down to one knee as you just cleave off, like, a huge chunk of his midsection. Uh, once again, you know, entrails spill out, ickers everywhere. Your weapons are gross and thick with the stuff. He's barely clinging on to whatever his existence is. You're not really sure if it's life, death, undeath, or what. Messed up is what it is. Yeah. I call out back to the party. Hey, did you see that one guy go down the hole? <laughs> the what? Up on top of this thing. Yeah. Brent like nods. This thing. Seems bad. Yeah, it's probably fine. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it either. We should brace ourselves. Cinder is up. All right. Um... Dispel magic. This ice storm. Okay. Uh, I don't think it keeps going, does it? No, it lasts until the end of the dude's next turn, so, like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can still cancel it, though. That'll take you out of the difficult terrain. If you want. It will be gone pretty quick, though, so... Where's the duration of that? Okay. Fine, then no one. Yeah, you don't need to. The hail will still remain, I think, is difficult terrain in that area. But it's not a huge area. <laughs> and you just don't seem to be moving a whole lot right now either. So, anything else for Cinder? Uh, um, well, I guess we're not going to dispel it then. We'll just do the classic trusty Eldritch Blasts. Mm -hmm. On the close uh, one? We have four blasts. They don't all have to hit the same target. So we'll send uh, one at the close one, the third, and the fourth one at the far one. Alright. Alright. At the this one, the far one. One, two, three. <clears throat> oh, so this one. Yeah. Okay. The closer of the far ones. All right. So, uh, the first one just tears through this one. He spins around twice, and just falls down, gasping and uh, oozing all over the place. He is no more. Uh. The other one, you miss. <laughs> it seems to reverberate off some sort of invisible barrier. <laughs> Neat trick. Anything else for Cinder? Uh, no, I think. No. No? Okay. Okay. All right. And maybe he moves over there. This is my turn, Dale. 
Hmm. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, this is this is what he would do. Let's cause problems on purpose. <laughs> Let me check something here. Before I click on this, I don't want to give it away. <laughs> Am I either too early or too late to ask about that held action? What do you want to do? Um, I was just going to see if it's time to do that since the being that was in front of us had attacked. Well, he's I don't dead. know if I should wait till it's my turn next to so, do the held action or do I do that when it's procced? Well, this one's dead. He's gone. We can delete him. Yeah, but I was holding an action until we were attacked and we were. Oh. Yeah, you, so you, you haven't stopped being attacked, but if you have something you want to true, go ahead. I don't mind. Um, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, uh, it's just an action. All right. Uh, so, 4d8s to one over here, which is definitely in range. I don't know why I'm not able to ping that. Hang on. This one? Yes. This okay. one. Alright. Um, I don't know if they need a save. Range spell attack, right? Which is this the plus 11 we just did earlier? And that should be this. Wait. Oh. 13, it's not going to hit. Nope. Yeah. It was a good try, though. Held action. Yep. Okay. Done. <laughs> All right. Chill touch is a... Is a Ranged is touch it? attack. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it yes. is a ranged attack. Yep. Yeah, never mind. It, it sounds like it wouldn't be. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's why I picked it. Love it. All right. So, this one... Uh, poofs. And reappears right here. That's Son of a great. bitch. I thought they could probably do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're called warp walkers. <laughs> Poof. Um, where did that go? Stop that. There. All right. So, yeah, he poofs there. And, you know, I like to roll dice to keep things fair. One, two, three. Rat, he's going to take a swipe at you. Yeah, you can't. This, this, is, this is nothing. What are you trying to do? Did he miss? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. In that... fact, I could say if we were playing Pathfinder, that would be a critical fail. <laughs> well, Rat, it is your turn. Would you like to respond to his salutation of violence? Mm -hmm. Uh, of course. With a with uh with my own. All right. Well, before you of violence, before you do that, mm -hmm. please give me a Constitution save, please. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Eighteen. All right. You, you feel this? Oh, okay. You feel the wave of this thing's aura coming over you, but you manage to stave it off. Go ahead. Uh, right. Five foot knockback. Five foot knockback. <laughs> Get him out of here. Ray of radiant burning. Get the fuck out of here. All right. Uh, X save. Twenty one. Nope. So he'll take that full. All right. Solid. You laid into him pretty hard. <laughs> Didn't like being that close, apparently. No. No, generally... 
<laughs> not advisable to be that close to uh, <laughs> at least one five foot knockback, I think. If, oh, yep, yeah, sorry. One. Maybe two if 14 hits, but probably didn't. No, 14 didn't hit. Is that spear still here? No, we. No, long gone. So. Uh, here. Oh, okay. There you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm going to move. Okay. Where are you moving? Okay. <laughs> Draken, uh, give me your con save first, please. He's really good at these. Yeah, no, I remember his con was kind of stupid. Yeah, he staves it off like a champ. <laughs> what would Draken like to do? Hmm. He would like to be troublesome. Okay. That's all he ever wants. He's good at it. I mean, it's... Oh, he's a professional. Let me review his meta magic. Let's spin some meta magic. About to pour on the damage. planning something big <laughs> yes I, I'm reviewing what is the size of, of terrible thing I would like to do you should drop a fireball right on him no that seems like it would cause us trouble right now I mean, he, did say he, he, he noted the effects he did say he wanted to do trouble <laughs> yeah, that would cause us trouble he wants to be trouble to other people Chaos Bolt would be a very Draken thing in this scenario. Chaos Bolt <laughs> is some Draken business. This is true. Sure, let's see what his Chaos Bolt looks like. So let's say he's going to Chaos Bolt the near one, the boy. All right. Dude. Does he have a roll macro for it? No, I think it's a D8. Yeah, it's just the end. Here we go. Hoping for a seven. Oh. We are on <laughs> force. That's fine. Yeah, that's the good one. You roll another one and pick, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, the force is pretty solid choice. I'm sticking with the force, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Actually, I think it's cold plus force. Does just... it get both? Let's see. Oh no, what, never mind. No, that's when you roll the damage, you pick one of the D8s from the damage rolled to pick the damage type. Ah, yes, you just you select an indicator there. Okay, so we've got six force damage plus uh, one D6. Yeah. Plus E. One Seven. cold. <laughs> Damage. You do have a meta magic to re-roll that. I do, but it's such a low damage spell, it's probably not. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. It's only one sorcery point. Let's spend it. Here we go. Beautiful. So this goes to a grand total 13. Okay. Force and no other bonuses, I think. All right. Anything else for Draken? Uh, how did the force damage impact it normally? Yeah, it didn't seem to have any resistance to it. It just hit I, it pretty solid. 
I would be upset if it did. Yeah. I'm going to invent creatures that are resistant to force damage. How powerful. <laughs> uh, he's going to look at that and say, hmm, no, you could hurt more. And he's going to go ahead and quicken spell. Uh-oh. And we're going to put in... What do we put in here? What do we put in? You know, we'll just do it. We'll do a second one. We'll run it back. All right, go for it. <laughs> All right. So. Lightning or psychic? It oh, like. uh, not psychic. Twenty-one. Oh, it's not it's not a save. I actually have to roll the hit. Oh, okay. I, I keep seeing the spell save at the bottom. I'm like, oh, oh it's a save. little confusing, isn't it? I was just checking his thing since he doesn't have a, a roll macro for this one. I wasted a good one. You technically didn't roll for the other one either. You're right. I'll have to roll twice. Right. Been a minute since I piloted a caster. No, you're good. Just tell me how much damage he's doing. <laughs> oh, that first one might have actually missed. It did. Okay. So, 13 lightning. Okay. Total. Alright. That will be the turn. Which brings us to Saren. She has Looking not good. missed yet. Looking good. <laughs> Steady hand with the rifle. Okay. So she pops him with a blast of radiant energy. This too. Mm. We're just gonna... Take gonna... him to Pound Town. <laughs> hmm. I'm carefully considering my options here after looking at like spell after spell and realizing that a lot of these won't work because they're arranged in a way that doesn't help me like storm sphere and uh, thunder wave uh, I'm gonna do this um, crown of stars solid use a um, use a bonus action to send one of the modes streaking towards a creature which would be this one here okay the close one right um, so I need to make a ranged attack with my roller go for it let's see what you get <laughs> 24. That hits. 4d12 of radiant damage. It's solid. Uh, solid. Just get this. Is, is, to, is taking him to Pound Town. <laughs> it's 18. Look at the damn. 18. Nice. And I would like to specifically mention that I'm maintaining concentration on protection from evil and good. Okay. Uh, and sure. that's my turn. All right. Excellent. It is my turn. <laughs> yes. Um. Hmm. I don't want to make this too difficult. <laughs> um, Rat, give me a wisdom save, please. Psychic energy hits you, rat. 
knocks you for a loop. You are stunned until the end of uh, the Warp Walker's next turn. Well, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been better. He smacked you pretty good. Um, he's going to try to double whammy you, but I don't think 16 will hit even flat-footed, will it? Uh, no. Okay. He tried. He tried. Give, give him some kudos. He tried. All right, Bryn, you're up. Yeah, Bryn's just not concerned about these things at all, so she's just going to do this to the one in front of her. It's just mockery. Solid. <laughs> Wisdom saver. Yes. Look at that. Mm. Dang it. Wise day to day for you. No he kidding. He just couldn't hear you, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's her turn, though. Yeah. That was, it, I rolled pretty good, to be fair, too. So. All right, so... All right, so the one that climbed in, um, everybody kind of feels the ground under your feet rumble like a quake of some sort. Dust kind of kicks off everything around you and like some loose bits of material you can hear kind of clatter along the floor somewhere in the room. And then all of a sudden you hear this high-pitched screech and then this slam and this cracking sound as you see on the frosted glass here in the front of the dome mm. something just impacted really hard against it cracking the glass in a, in a uh, splintering manner it's still staying in place but it's just like shattered in place kind of like a windshield would be and on the inside, even though you can't really make out detail because of the frosting on the glass, mm -hmm. something just splattered black ichor all across the inside of this. Bad. Very bad. So, uh, Jimmy, you're up. <laughs> I see that happen. I yell at the party behind me. Get out of the firing line. I'm going to see what did that. <laughs> Seems bad. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. And I'm going to start moving. Let me make some measurements. All right. Is this uh, climbable? Yeah. First, I should ask. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's maybe a five-foot uh, lip and then arcs. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to cunning action dash. Okay. But I will get up there with some movement to spare up to this, uh, this hatch. Okay. The hatch is closed. How is it closed? Is there a handle? Is it just a seam in the floor? What, am I, what am I looking at? A seam in the floor. There does not appear to be a handle, though there is a lighted panel on one side with a handprint on it. Don't I have a hand? <laughs> I think I've got a hand. I say, ooh. Uh, I reach into the bag for the hand. I know what this is. <laughs> I know how this works now. All right. I smush my stolen hand into the handprint. All right. Uh, it turns green. Ah. Ah. And the hatch slide open. Slides yes. open. Revealing pitch darkness inside, but mm. you hear this horrible sound of movement from inside, not unlike the sound of stirring raw meat in a bowl. Mm. <laughs> that seems bad. And the thing is, is it's not a little sound. It's a, a lot of sound. <laughs> All right. Well, what I'm going to do now that the hatch is open is I'm going to... I have my light stick. Okay. You know, I have my magical, not magical torch. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to duck the head through real fast. Flip on the light, see what we're doing. 
what terrible thing has beset me this day okay um let me see here so we're going to uh come back to you perfect <laughs> uh yes because i don't want to spoil the surprise um of course of course so cinder you're up cool uh divine sense divine sense uh, you are nearly bowled over with the sense of evil coming from directly in front of you. Oh, great. Like, this is something worse than anything you've ever encountered. This is pure malevolence. Well, f fuck. <laughs> um... Hey, you guys. Something really fucking evil's at, uh, uh, at play here. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, re really, really, really fucking evil, you guys. <laughs> and... Yeah. I gotta move over here and cut this one in half. Okay. Wait, this one? And he, yeah, that one. Oh, this one, okay. All right. 24 definitely hits. I think he's got some things. Oh, he's, he's a hexaden, so yeah. Yeah, I think there's some divine smite. Right, are you, you going to smite him? Is a 24 for 17 enough to cut him in half for good? Because I think I still have multi-attack, too. Yeah, no, I mean, that will... Extra attack. The 17 won't be enough, but you want to add smite or an extra attack? Yeah, we'll just, we'll just go for the second attack. Another 14. Okay. You can always add smite to that one if you want. You can always add smite to that one. Yeah, you, no, you've hit him pretty hard, but he's still standing. All right. I will add a simple ew. <laughs> Still standing. <laughs> that did not hit him very hard. <laughs> I'm not very I'm sorry. I'm not very good at the paladin. It's okay. You're doing fine. And also, Simon likes to make wonky multi-class characters, so yeah. who knows how, like, all of this shit interacts. Like, I remember when he, well, the, um... The character sheet hasn't been updated since level 10. So... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we should probably fix that soon. We should probably get Simon back in here soon. <laughs> I, think, yeah, I, would, I would love for Simon to be able to update his own character sheet so that we don't have to make seven levels worth of decisions for him. Yeah, yeah real talk. Let's get Simon back. Let's get Simon back. <laughs> I mean, come but back. But that's dependent on his work, of course. Yeah. Which, that's fair. We, we understand. All right. But is that it for, for I almost said Simon. Is that it for Cinder? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that'll, I think that'll be... Okay. That brings us to our boy here. Looking a little worse for the wear, not gonna lie. Uh, rats, you're the one doing all the damage. Not to that one. Oh, well, maybe to that one. I haven't even been using all this thing's abilities. That's the sad thing. <laughs> um, it's fine. It's fine. I can take it. Try me. Oh no, he had a defensive ability I forgot about and wasn't using. Oh. Uh, that's okay. Like you guys were still doing pretty good against me, even if he had that. I imagine these weren't meant to be too insanely powerful. They're just like the, I think a CR eleven. So rat, uh, rat, he'll go after you. Does that hit? Uh, the claw? 
24. Is that supposed to be a melee attack? Trigger. It is a melee attack. Because rat's way down here. Oh, rat. No, I'm sorry. I meant cinder. I'm sorry. Cinder's oh, okay. the one yeah. that's next to him. No, that'll hit mm. cinder. Okay. So 18 slashing as it rakes a claw across him. Ow. And the Eldritch Pulse for 13. Does that hit? Uh, 13 does not hit. Okay. So he manages to, to avoid the pulse, but just takes the rake. All right. Rat. Rat is stunned until the beginning of this thing's next turn. Very good. End of its next turn. Well, I mean, very good for me, not you, obviously. But... It's very good for you. <laughs> yeah. All right, Drake and Euro. Decisions, decisions. Draken, at least, heard Jimmy say, get out of the firing line. He knows how those work. Yeah. So let's give him his flight. Okay. And he's just going to lift up and out of range a bit, probably taking an attack of opportunity. Uh, he will hold off. He will choose otherwise. He wants to keep that reaction for counter spells. That is correct. Such is life. Let's see if we can make him burn a counter spell. I'm gonna go ahead and quicken spell. Okay. And we're gonna give him what are we going to give him? What'll be fun? <laughs> the party needs to be clearing out expeditiously. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's give him an immolation. Oh, okay. Solid. Uh, is it a save for half, I think? Yeah. I do believe it is a save, yes. Dex save. All right. Nope. Nope. So he is taking some numbers. Let me roll some numbers. Give me some damage. 46. 18. Yes. He is also very bright now. Uh, he lets out a scream of agony and falls flailing to the ground with the stench of something rotten burning entering all your noses. That's his last Perfect. attack, the stink. <laughs> Draken flies over this way. Okay. Thus ending his turn. All right. Saren. She'll go after the only one left standing there. And hit. <laughs> it's just a good gun. It's just nice. Saren is a deadly laser. <laughs> yes, she is. I need, to, I need to get me one of those. <laughs> I think you have one of those. Oh. You do, actually. <laughs> I'm having ideas. <laughs> All right, it's two. Live is over here. Excellent. Um, I need to measure this out, which is just great because I can do that now with this thing. Wow, only 45 feet. Imagine. Okay, so the line of fire is where? From here to here? That is what Jimmy was probably implying. Dead. Because this thing. Here, in this area, is covered in a substance. It's right. Mm -hmm. there I think is. we need to attack what? us over there. Okay, cool. What? No, the the goo that, whatever, the black ichor was like this glass panel, like the inside of this glass panel here. Yeah. The hallway we came through was also full of a gunk of some kind. So That's we're moving where Draken is. This way. 
Just off to the sides, out of the line of fire, basically. Which is it's, just it's vague presumed area. that whatever is like meat soup is probably gonna bust out the the, the front here, going this way. Okay. Like, yep. And maybe Got it. maybe like <laughs> how much of this space it's gonna like annihilate is questionable. Questionable. Yeah. So I feel like these three squares right here, like I feel like that's the corridor this thing is going to bust through like bam bam and bam alrighty well Istu's gonna um I turned the tag um Istu's gonna move over one two three four here I guess and then five six Yeah, movement speed 30. And then uh, from here, I would like to uh, bonus action release one of those stars. Okay, go ahead. Which is the D20 range spell attack that we did earlier. Mm -hmm. 27. That certainly hits. 4D12 mm -hmm. of damage. Uh, and with my action, I would very much like to um, see about doing another chill touch. Okay. It doesn't require concentration. I still maintain focus on protection versus from evil and good, which is still mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, go ahead. Make your range spell attack. Okay, that's this. This goes here. Ranged attack. We roll 15. 15 does not hit. Nice. Right there. Still smacked him solid, though. No, that's it. That's turn. Uh, that was radiant, right? So yeah. Easy. No worries. All right. Uh, Rat, you begin to come out of your stun as we move into this thing's turn. Hooray. Hooray. Um, hmm. S2. Yes. Does 18 hit you? Um, um, position. It's a psychic depends. attack. Zed <laughs> rolled with disadvantage? For. Protection versus evil and good. Oh, does that give me this advantage? Yes. Okay. No, that's fair. Assuming this is evil, and I mean, it is. It looks it. It is definitely yep. evil. So, no, it's solid. Good thing you reminded me. 17 hit? Shield reaction? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right. So, you managed to react with your shield. Okay. Let me see you. You know what? He's feeling desperate. Is too. Yeah. <laughs> um, make a save for me. <laughs> okay. Um, I can either take the time to read all of this, or you can tell me which type to roll for this, if you uh, intelligent. I'm guessing. Wisdom. I don't see wisdom. It. Uh, wisdom. Uh, okay. Wisdom just. That just takes me an eternity anyway, so. Wisdom save. Alright. Is there a number I'm shooting for? DC 20. Okay, nope. Wisdom. Nope. Okay. Alright. So. You feel this creature's mind take control of yours. Uh huh. Um, you suddenly have this incredible urge <laughs> to run and jump into the hatch on top of the dome. Okay. Right. But I will leave that with you. <laughs> Bren, you're up. 
All right, so heeding Jimmy's instructions, because, uh, yeah, she <laughs> uh, is going to believe her boyfriend here. She is going to move down here and then vicious mockery that dude. All right, as a wisdom save, right? Yeah. 15. Fails. All right. An 11 psychic. Today. All right. And has disadvantage on his next attack. Nice. And also has to roll concentration, right? Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's fair. Ignore the description. It's 4d4 psychic because we're 17th level. <laughs> I think he made it. Concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's not. It's that's when I don't want to waste these rolls. You know? <laughs> Although I might be able to get his two in the uh, in the dome. Who knows? We shall see. All right, Jimmy. Speaking of. Yeah. Speaking of. Um. <laughs> I look forward to figuring out what on earth we're dealing with. So let's see here. This is going to be at advantage. What's your AC? 26. Okay. Jesus Christ. Christ. I don't think I need to roll again. <laughs> Go One ahead. And... Need... Let me double check some shit I got. <laughs> I just rolled two crits in a row. Look at that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm getting my uh, mojo back. I ain't back. that fancy. I'm taking, I'm taking some hits, <laughs> uh, for sure. Get my mojo back. So, uh, give me your strength save, please. Yes. Ooh, that's not 18. All right, and... Just for... Because it can. Um just for the violence of it yeah so jimmy you stick your head down in the hatch with that light like you're saying to look mm -hmm. around um what you see is this immense writhing form inside filling up most of the chamber below you just writhing tentacles two of which lash out the moment you peek your head in and just wrap around you and drag you into the dome. Um, Bad. The horrible thing is on the end of each one of these tentacles is this large gaping maw filled with razor sharp needle point teeth. Very bad. As you're pulled into the darkness and just engulfed into it, feeling that squeeze around you you are immediately just overcome with this horrible, distorted sense of being as this strange aura washes over you. Okay. Um, this is a... Uh, I, I also need you to make us wisdom safe. You got it, brother. <laughs> yeah, but at seeing all this, uh, you're everyone's going to hear Bryn shout, Jimmy! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, wisdom save is up. That's probably not enough. It is not. You are terrified for the next minute. I think I might be immune to that. To, to uh, that. a magical fear effect? Effects. Are you immune to fear effects? I might be. Let me check. Because if you are, this won't affect you. I think I'm immune to fear and poison as a result of the revived thing. Take a look. Make sure. Where did I put this? I hope not. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. okay. So, you are frightened for the next minute. Shit. Um, and, and you would be, and given the situation, that's not a terrible unlikelihood in this particular uh, case. But yeah, you guys see Jimmy's legs kick up and just get dragged in Oop. violently. Right. I do do some things in response to this. All right. 
Yep. I will uncanny dodge the first hit, the crit, cutting its damage in half. Fair, no problem. And I will use Black Jammer's special proc to gain resistance to bludgeoning damage after being hit with it. Okay. So I I have both of these essentially, and will be resistant to bludgeoning for the foreseeable. No, that's that's, a, that's probably a good thing. So real quick, I am going to do this for sake of ease. Yeah. Um, as Jimmy is pulled in, you guys hear this horrible howling, just almost this cancerous sound, if such a thing were possible. And this huge slam, slam, slam against the dome, and the dome shatters, revealing the horrors within. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, that sucks. Sucks bad. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, what you're seeing is this horrible abomination uh, that, that is, like I said, just a writhing mass of tentacles, uh, each mending in a gaping maw with razor-sharp teeth. You can see this distorted aura around it, as, almost as if reality itself is shimmering and shifting around this thing's horrible form um, as it fills the room with its presence. Uh, all of you kind of feel this unsettling uh, distortion around you. Uh, just, it's unnerving. Um, also, <laughs> You see some smaller creatures uh, kind of bounding out of the wreckage as it breaks free. Um, these Their forms flicker and waver, almost as if they're uncertain of their own existence. They have this malevolent hunger in their burning little wicked eyes and seem to kind of shift and shimmer through the shadows around the, the huge creature that they're crawling on. Um, they have these horrible looking claws and these bent over forms and these misshapen heads with this huge lower jaw with big sharpened teeth but yeah now we start the real fight <laughs> yeah that's great love to see it I don't love to see it should we at this momentous point take our union break it's up to you guys I'm going I think a quick one, personally. But there's heavy, heavy thunderstorms. I can't go outside in it. <laughs> it is an occupational hazard. <sighs> I will get yeah, okay. these initiatives rolled. You gotta build the funnel, man. You gotta have, like, the curtains that wrap around the window and you just pop your head through. <laughs> There we go. That's gonna be a minor issue for us. This is a many things. Uh, crap. Let's see, we were just on Jimmy's, Jimmy's. turn. Okay, that so was Jimmy's turn. Get up there to Jimmy, and that puts us on the star. Big boy. <laughs> All right. So yeah, no, we can take a quick break if you guys want. No problem. I'll go refill my drink. But uh, we will be right back in a moment. Don't touch that dial. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Here we go. Oh, goodness. Is everyone ready? The death and Her devastation court. may begin. All right. So, Jimmy is bound by the tentacles. Yeah, I'm just waving around up there. <laughs> uh, the smaller creatures are bounding around, kind of scattering away as the, the top is blown off this big dome. Um, well, let's, let's just do this, shall we? Um, yes. No time like the present, eh? Let's just do this. Yeah, this will catch everyone. Recall oh, Draken is elevated. Oh, yeah, I think it'll still catch him. Ah, shit. <laughs> um, so, yeah, everybody, give me a dex save as this thing just emanates a blast of cosmic energy. Uh, not you, by the way. Uh, Jimmy, you're not in the cone. <laughs> I am too close to be in the cone. There's a DC 18. Oof, is too. Yes, doing good so far, though, overall. I mean. So just half damage. I believe it's 12 D6. And they changed all this. I think it's cool, but I think that they just changed it. Mm. So yeah, 46. Half if you made it. Full if you didn't. Uh, Draken, I think we're waiting on his roll. And yes, Saren. Yes, my bad. No, you're good. Keep forgetting I'm piloting the man. I know. Dex. Uh, yes. No. So full damage, full damage. That hit Saren pretty decently. All right. So, uh, yeah, forty-six. I think for you two is two. Everybody else takes half. So twenty-three. 23. Uh, that's a huge shock wave that just tears through everyone. Um, was not a fun feeling. Did not feel nice. Uh, oh no! I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's not right. Um, no, I'm going to hold off on that. Okay. We'll let that settle. Oh, it's my turn again. I'm sorry. Uh, the rift spawn. All right. So... It will run across the body of its friend. And rat. Give me a wisdom uh, save, please. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad because I just made another one of your characters slightly insane. That's <laughs> oh, <just> fine. <laughs> the one that was always insane. <laughs> Tell that about. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, the other one's more sane than this one is. <laughs> Get the table. Um. Do you want to roll or you want me to for your madness? Uh, what do I roll for madness? D100. Okay. 76. <laughs> Rat. Hmm? 
so this thing kind of tears down across you know the the writhing mass of tentacles and leaps down over the wreckage and kind of like bears up at you like a dog would maybe you know kind of on all fours these big hooked claws in its front and glares at you and you feel this surge go through your brain it's like this bubbling sensation in your forebrain almost as if a chunk of it just came off and bubbled to the top and suddenly when you shake your head and you kind of shake it off mm-hmm, mm-hmm. all you can think about is how much you want to eat the icker and the tunnels so bad it just seems like it would taste so good holy shit <laughs> you know I, I am so fucking hungry right now you don't even understand <laughs> what about, about that moss what about that <laughs> gunk <laughs> So, yeah, um, <laughs> Cinder, you're up. <laughs> right. Uh, spend the big boys. Don't know what counts as the big boys for a <laughs> warlock paladin, but yeah. spend them. Spend them. All right. Um, none of these spells have descriptions. So it's really actually kind of unfortunate. I'm still just gonna eldritch blast this this last uh, little one, just just to get that out of the way. All right. Uh, we'll just put four of those into the, that thing. Uh, Nineteen is probably the only one that hits. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> um you know I no I'm just gonna let it hit that's fine <laughs> I was gonna like you know I have this reaction I just remembered that he has no go ahead uh let's see that was six damage yeah okay all right there we go Is that it for our sender rat <laughs> um i spend my my turn moving back to this doorway to try and get to that really really delicious looking gunk i try and ah death approaches All right. yes playing the good song <laughs> i love this one honestly this was a fun one i've been writing a lot so <laughs> It's my favorite of your pieces, honestly, that I've heard. Oh, yeah. I, I think I'm up to almost 30 uh, in the last couple of months. I don't know what's come over me. But. Uh, anything else for you? I think that is my turn. Okay. There we go. It's a little more battle y music. Um, Draken. Hmm. Faced with the horror before you. Uh, he he looks upon the horror. Okay. Don't worry, Jimmy. This will miss you. <laughs> uh... He said that before. And for, for specific reasons, it will, in fact, miss him. Okay. Careful spell. Sunburst, huh? Interesting. I wonder, technically, I would have had disadvantage on that saving throw, too. Because I think I count as undead for some purposes. Yeah. That's funny. No, I don't think you do. Because Jimmy's, like... Like, um... I don't think Revive gives Jimmy the undead, like creature type he plus like it's um 
it's a subclass, so it's not like a racial thing. So he's still just flat human. I think that's how it works in the one they actually published. I don't remember if it actually works like that in the Unearthed Arcana version. It doesn't, and the one that they publish, you're thinking of the reborn yeah. uh, race option. And I mean, they even like, it doesn't even have the undead tag. They removed that. Ah, okay. Still. So it's con save? It is a con save. It is disadvantaged for undeads and oozes, and these are both undead, and they, you know, they, they're a little oozy. Actually, these are not undead. Well, then they just have to make a con save. <laughs> these, uh, even the, uh, the warp walkers, they're aberrations. Ah, but they are evil. I they see. are evil. They are definitely evil. So, 60 foot radius should catch all these boys. <laughs> I actually wrote Flame Tongue long before Drake. <laughs> Dang, nice. But yeah, we, we could, we could, I could work on that. Start doing theme songs. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that one was never going to happen. All right, and this will catch, I believe, all six of the others, right? It ought to catch everything in this uh, in this room, really. Let me see. One, two, three, <coughs> four, five, six, and the warp walker too. Yep. All right. All right. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four failures and four successes. It is a half success. All right. So let me roll this for you. 12d6. How'd we do? Oh, we did quite well. And remember, Draken uh, does have that meta magic feature where he can, like, you know, re roll some of those ones and twos. That is correct, but there's just not enough of them for it to be worthwhile. Uh, the, the average gain on the re roll, I think, would be something like four or five points statistically. Yeah, save it for when you need it. Yeah. Or for a quicken spell or something. Yes. So, 45 and blind for the failures, half and not blind for the successes. Okay. Okay. The blind is for one minute. Uh, the blind won't be an issue. They don't have eyes, do they? No, they do, but they also have blind sight. All right, so they will be restricted to their blind side then. Mm -hmm. That works. All right, anything else for Draken? That was solid. Bam! Sunburst lights up the room. Did that help? <laughs> Thumbs up from Jimmy. <laughs> I think kind of. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're getting there. Great disco ball. <laughs> All right, so... Uh... Let me do this. Uh, so I can remember which ones are using exclusive blind sight. Mm -hmm. There's that one. That one. That one. There we go. All right, so this is the one that's using blindsight. <laughs> All right, so he will go to there. All right, so let me see here. I want to get my, all right. He poofs, ends up in a space that it can sense. <laughs> Nothing standing there. Oh my 
goodness. Okay. I had to do this with so many. All right. Um, it's going to be a busy combat. Yeah. This one guards. This one runs down and will bamf as well. To there. Poof. All right. <laughs> Saren. <laughs> ah! <laughs> something in front of me um you know what she's gonna disengage and back up <laughs> smart that's smart self-preservation she wants to help but she's not a frontline soldier either uh is two you are up They moved. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I can't hear you if you're speaking. Chill touch on which one? Okay. Make your attack roll, please. 17, I believe, misses just barely. You're Question, are they, are they still dominated? Uh, yes, this is true. Hmm, I think that means the turn is actually make a save against that, right? Yeah, you can make your save again. No, I, no, it's just save when you take damage. Uh, dominate person. Yeah, so they should have made that save back with the Starfiend did its thing. Uh, yeah, no, in that case, you're right. Go ahead and make your save, then. Indeed, there should be two. One that Istu makes, and one that the creature makes when Draken hit it with a sunburst. Yeah. Ah, yes. Concentration. Remember, kids at home, always remember your off-ramps from Dominate Person. Alright. It's a DC 20. I think you have two chances, according to the damage you've taken, if you want to bust out of it. Wait, yo, is this song that you're putting on now new? Yes. It's so good. Thank you. Oh, dang. Is two. Dang, is two. All right. So is two managed to shake it off. Launches out the chill touch. Okay. You no longer wish to run up to where the <laughs> portal once was. Mm. All right. So, anything else for you, is two? No. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Okay. All right, then. Now, these are the ones that can actually see you still. Yeah, at least one of them. Yeah, I, th well, I think two made it. And and the, the warp walker, of all people. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... This one will run out to here. Hmm. Draken. Give me a save, please. Do, do, do. I summon a Draken. This is 
15 wisdom. Let's just hope for the boy. We did not <laughs> hope hard enough for the boy. Yay. I don't think he has... Wait! Uh, no, wait, wait. This is, uh, this is a mental effect. Wisdom. Well, it's it's a... Uh, it's not a domination effect. Or it's control. not a domination, but I think his fancy thing actually is very, very robust against this sort of thing. But he doesn't have it documented, so I can't say for sure. I what, a staff? He's got a staff, he's got a ring, he's got an amulet. He is super hardened against all kinds of mental manipulation. Yeah, but no, this is actually a uh, a madness attack. It, it fractures his sanity. It's not a control or a charm. I don't know if it would... I, according to what I remember, I don't think it would affect this because it's not actually a control or, or anything like that. Oh, wait, I found the documentation. Okay. Uh... I guess it depends on whether you would categorize it as an enchantment effect. Yeah, this is not an enchantment. Okay, then it doesn't matter. Okay. This is staring into the void and the void waving high. <laughs> we don't like that around here. <laughs> All right. Uh... Ten. Rolling low. Just a little madness. Oh. The character retreats into his mind and becomes paralyzed. The effect ends if the character takes any damage. Otherwise, it lasts uh, uh, 1d10 minutes. The same for you, uh, Rat, by the way. Here, I'll give you your 1d10 roll. Sorry. Um, That isn't what Fractured Mind says. Yeah, you wrote until the end of its next turn. Oh, that's right. Box. That's right. No, so you're right. Six seconds. Yeah, no, I did that on purpose so that this wouldn't be some long-term horrible thing. Yes, that would be terrible. Yeah. Thank you for noticing, though. That would be terrible. So, yeah, he, he, he's paralyzed, basically. With Until next turn. Gotcha. Wondering at how glittery he is. Hmm. <laughs> Even I'm not shiny enough for the void. Terrible to contemplate. And poof. Alright. And the warp walker. I almost forgot he's there. Jeez. Um, I guess he's going to come after you, Istu, since you're right there. Uh, Istu, what's your AC? who you are muted if you like intend to be yeah. i don't know not sure if you're talking or not <sighs> okay oh there we go what is t what's attacking me the warp walker is this an aberration yes are these attacks rolled at disadvantage should they be yes protection from evil and good ah once again thank you for reminding me so there, oh, well, okay. The claw, well, the claw hit. Uh, uh, oh, I won't do the crit. We'll just take the basic 12 since it's disadvantage. Bren, you're up. All right, so she big mad. <laughs> she does not like that this thing has Jimmy, and she is a woman of her word. That she said she would protect Jimmy, so she is going to bust out the big brother of Chill Touch, Finger of Death. Oh, the poke of death. My. Are you going after the big boy with Finger of Death? The big boy, yes. 
Okay. Con save. It's gonna make the con save. Yeah, maybe. I, I could roll a one. Yeah, but I mean, if it doesn't, it still takes damage, so, you know. This is true. Hang on. Damage is damage. Mm, I have four monitors. I think I need another one. Yeah, we need to build the pen opticon, but for you, facing outwards. So, I'm Which going to... Which that DC should be 19, by the way. I'm going to use a legendary action. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> um, now, you, I'm using one that intentionally leaves you with a chance to still pull this off, okay? Okay. Um, but basically, this is going to center on you, Bren. All right. So... 20. So this will get Rat and Draken. We'll need to make this save as well, okay? Okay. It's a DC 18 dex save. Fuck. <laughs> so Rat and Draken as well. Let me queue him up. He's probably not hitting it, but... Oh, I hate that I'm the too one far. Time. I hate go. that I'm too far away from Cinder. For <laughs> I know. This. Okay. Oh wait, Jimmy, you're good. You don't need to roll. No, that was me rolling for Draken. It still puts my name on it. Oh, okay. So the twenty-two is for Draken. Yeah, it's Draken. Okay. And Rat is a sixteen. All right. So Rat and Bren. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Two and four. There you go. Okay. Bren, you end up popping up there. Rat ends up down there. Bamf! Uh... Make a concentration check for me, Brent. I'm going to see if you are too disoriented to aim your finger in the right direction. Okay, that's a uh, con save? Yeah, just give me a con save. You know what? I'm going to let it go off. Go ahead. It is the broad side of a barn. It is very large, and you are angry. She, she big mad, as you said. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, my thing is up in the chat yeah. if you want to scroll up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it was. Did you roll damage? Yeah, it auto so rolled damage. It 55. 55. Okay. 55. Just passed by one, so it yeah. takes half. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, a low average roll. Close. So <laughs> close. It's still a solid hit. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a very solid hit. Um, all right, so anything else? Uh, let me see, because I can do something as a bonus action. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to mm. shut this door real quick. No, I think with her current position, she'll stay there. Go. So that's my turn. Put it away. She will stay there with her current position. So that's my turn. Alrighty. I know that was disorienting. Jimmy. Yes. You're uh, all wrapped up with nothing to do. What do you want to do? I should probably try and slip, wiggle my way out of this one. Alright. So I would love to begin my turn by making an acrobatics check to escape. Alright, and you got a good chance, because... Uh, you are at disadvantaged because of the fear. 
Ah, uh, yes. That's fine. I have tricks up my sleeve. 21. 21. Uh, it's DC 18 to escape. So, yeah, you managed to wiggle your way out. Um, and you are now standing precariously on the Star Fiend. Yeah, that's not, that's not an ideal place to be. And I believe by the terms of Frightened, I can only move away from it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's fine. That's every direction is away. Pretty much, yeah. And you, you know, still have your cunning action to disengage. Yes, and I shall deploy it towards <laughs> this purpose. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit. Uh, I don't think I'm obligated to use my full movement to, ru to run, right? That's a different effect. Uh, no, I, I'm not going to do that to you. Okay. Uh, that probably consumes my whole turn. I make it here, then. Okay. All right. That brings us around to the Starfiend. <laughs> Jimmy smiles, but it is somewhat pained. He says, don't get near that thing. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it. Um. Oh, wait, I get to make my uh, fear save. Oh, no, this one's just for one minute. You, in the description, it said it had a save at the end of every turn. Did it? Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yes, it does. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, wisdom? Uh, wisdom? Yes, wisdom. Sorry. These are very new creatures. Yes, so I did not make it. Did not make it. It was worth a try, though. It was totally worth a try. Mm. So, it's very angry that you escaped. <laughs> yeah, it's going to try and reverse that. Hey, it's going to try to go after you again. What's your AC again? 26. <laughs> Big boy AC. <laughs> but god damn, does it hit like a truck. He got you again. Uh, you want right. to make your save? Strength save? Uh, yeah, one sec. <laughs> he likes you. Hey! Oh. Woo! You managed Muscling to avoid. out of that one. Fear managed reaction. To avoid it. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, Bren, the second one's going for you. I'm going to oh, use geez. my... Uh, I'm going to cut that one in half, by the way. Okay. Reduce the damage. What's your AC, Bren? 17. Uh, no. <laughs> You managed to narrowly yeah. avoid that one. Ha ha! Alright, uh, both of you and Istu uh, you are in the aura so give me your wisdom saves, please. <laughs> Jimmy. I think I'm already under the effect, right? So it doesn't really change. Yeah. Okay, Istu. Uh, you are frightened. Uh, and I suppose Bryn made it? Bryn made it, yeah. It's a DC-18. Yeah. Nothing scares the ghost. Yes. She is the scariest thing in the room. <laughs> but yeah. So that ends the Star Fiend's turn for now. Um, the horror. Let's see. So this one's running up here. Uh, is too... Going after you. What's your AC again, this two? Not enough. <laughs> well, I mean, this it's just a melee attack, so... Alright. 15? 15, okay. So he's gonna go... Shield 20? Uh, I don't know. Shield's a reaction, so I might want to save. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if 15, it basically gives you a 20. So here we go. Claw. Miss. Claw. That one hit. Um. Um. I want to shield that one as a reaction. I will ask you again. 
is Dis- dis- a disadvantage. Thank you. You know what? Here, let me do this. So we'll call that the first one, and it, it's a miss, okay? Let me switch this to disadvantage. He's got three more of these. So there's one miss. Two. That one hit. Shield. Three miss. You hitting the shield on the one that hit? Yes. All right. So blah, 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 blah. Um. <laughs> uh, this, and that's, uh, by the way, that's why it had four attacks. So, yeah, you, you this thing just comes at you with these huge claws, but you manage to basically probably go, nope, 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 out your way out of it. <laughs> you got to remember, you have that, uh, nobody ever uses protection from good and evil, so it's, it's, it's actually, ladies and gentlemen at home, this is why you use that spell. <laughs> All right, Cinder, hero. Uh, okay. Bonus action, hexblades, curse. Uh, this thing. This one. Yeah, this one. Okay. Just putting symbols on him. There you go. Uh, and then I'm going to Eldritch Blast it. Okay. Let me zoom in a little here. There we go. One, two, three, four times. Alright. I'm reading his sheet and and fixing things. Okay. Uh, So... 30 hits, 27 hits, hits, 27 hits, hits, 29 hits. 17 17 does not. But uh, that's a solid chunk of damage. Yeah. Uh, 55 force. This one. Okay. 55. All right. Uh, you banged him up pretty good. All right. Anything else for Cinder? Um, no. Okay. Gotta love that. Cantrip. <laughs> Good old reliable cantrips. Oh, yeah. Rat, you are up. All right. You're way down here. <laughs> okay. I take the, uh, the brand new question mark, question mark, laser rifle, question mark, question mark from the mm-hmm. rat or the robot den. Mm hmm off my back and I set it on the ground in front of me and I take the question mark question mark blaster pistol from earlier and I set it on the ground next to it and I animate these objects hmm okay oh (laughs) that is the longest spell on earth it is wall of text I can do up to ten objects I have two so far Okay. Uh, I there's a reason they call me the barrage commander. <laughs> so with my now two additional animated guns, which just summoned objects, they take they'll they'll take their action uh, after my turn. I think that is how this works. Or as like as a, as a bonus action, I can command them. All right. They take up their own space, or uh, they are on yours. They are like their own critters, okay. kind of like next to me, like floating in the. But they're on their own spaces they're on the the grid, basically. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Let me see here if I can get some tokens out there, just so I don't forget. It's just so that I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that works. 
Is that a good place for him? Is that where you want him? Uh, to put this one over here. All right. There we go. All right. All good. All good. So that's action, bonus action. Uh, this round we'll just fire the force ballista. <coughs> well, as you're as you're placing those down and yeah. animating them, uh -huh. the air around the star fiend shifts and warps and goes kind of wonky. And uh doo -doo. Ha. there we go. So go right there. <laughs> okay. He shifts through reality <laughs> into a new location. <laughs> Alright, Rat, what were you doing now? I'm sorry. Legendary actions. Legendary actions are fun. Yeah, I hate them, but I'm going to use them if I got them. Use them, use them if you got them. <laughs> so, action, bonus action. Uh, fire the force ballista. At big angry. Okay. Fifteen and sixteen maybe don't hit though. Well, I'm gonna say they hit, but they don't pierce its blubbery hide. Mm. The biggest of boys. All right, I'm gonna need the bigger guns. <laughs> Is that it for you, Rat? Yep. Speaking of big guns, Draken. He will, at the end of his turn, come out of his paralysis. Okay. So he is shaking off the... Uh, the madness. In, the introspective madness. <laughs> yes. yeah, but Possibly anyway. spurred on by the arrival of Big Ugly in yeah. his face. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, since this is a legendary action... And I now have all of you in my grip. Let's get some saves. Mm, I, I'm still literally... <laughs> I've, st I've already failed this one. I'm not going to bother. You're, you're still in it. Yeah, I'll roll for Draken. Okay. Cinder's hanging in there. Just missed it, god damn. Yeah, it's too, you made it. Cinder made it. Uh, and that roll was for Draken, you said? That is Draken, and he did not. Okay, let me get Saren. I don't want to forget her, she's part of this. Uh, Ooh, that's a no. That's a no. Okay, so that's fear. Uh, for all of you. Uh, I, don't know. I don't know what a good fear one is. There's so many of these. <laughs> Here, there, that looks scared. <laughs> it's perfect. Here, I'm going to put one of these on each of you. Yeah, I'll give myself one. Alright. S2 made it. Rat did not make it. There we go. And Draken did not make it. So this went with the legendary action? Yes. All right, in that case, Draken will make his initial save, but now at the end of his turn, he'll also make an additional, like the his normal end of turn save. Okay. No worries there. He did not get it. Okay. But he got his roll. He did get his roll. So yeah, that pulsed out and everyone was shaken most likely by it this huge thing just shifting through reality and ending up 
30 feet away from where it was. That's kind of terrifying. <laughs> All right. Anything else for Draken? Or is that, uh, I think that's it for him. Huh? Or have I missed something? No, that's all he's got. It was both end of turn actions. He can't do anything. All right. Oh boy, this one. <laughs> that's the cursed one, the hexed one. Okay. Uh, Cinder. These are coming at you. One, two, three, four. They're still rolling at disadvantage and don't need to. Uh, so 14, 18, 25, and 27. Do those hit? Cinder? Ginkgo, you're muted. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, 14, 18, 25, 27. 14, 18, 25. Yes. Okay, so uh, 19 slashing damage. As this thing just starts ripping at you. Uh, Ow. I, I do back point so out. You can die on your own. This is, this is a big you. old combat. It's going to be a multi parter, and midnight has arrived. Okay. Tell you what, do you mind getting to the. Let me get through these two. I won't say to the end of the round because that's actually a good ways to go. <laughs> that's long this time. Uh, and we'll start with Saren. We'll leave it hanging on Saren. So uh, this one's going after Bryn. Oof. Uh, that's one of the blinded ones. So one, two, three, four. Mmm. Two of those hit. All right. Going by the first in those list. Okay. That works. That is the 28 and the 25, which I should get additional damage, like, on the 28 one, because the first listed roll was a crit. Yeah. Let me see here. We'll just take that second roll. How about that? Okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right. So yeah, he, these things are just ripping at you, and you see the picture of the claws on these things. <laughs> yeah. Wait. If we're taking the second roll, then that misses. So I. No, I mean I meant for the damage. I meant for the damage. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh. And then this one. Draken's still flying. Uh, he was, yeah. Okay. Nothing has knocked him out of the air yet. True. All right, so this one will go after Saren. One. Eight, eight, no, let me take disadvantage off. <laughs> That's a firm miss. Firm we miss. That. We got that fumble in there. Four. Hopefully the fumble incapacitates it, because that's going to hurt. We will see. Let's get that fumble table going. Where did I put my fumble table? There it is. All right, here we go. Maybe. <laughs> four. Four. How bad is four? Wow. Uh, let me see here. Four. All right. So the target has advantage on the first attack roll against it next round. It l lost its footing. So it exposed Hard. itself, basically. Not in a dirty way. <laughs> so... I gotta, can I spell your name right, Saren? Is that right? I mean, I made it. <laughs> I made you up. Yes. S-A-H-R-Y-N. Just so I don't forget. All right, so, and we will cliffhang there. I know it's not like a, our usual exciting, oh my god, what happens next? We know what's happening next. We're in the middle of a pretty big fight with some pretty terrible things. 
you guys are holding your own. Uh, it's a little hairy. And this is definitely going to be one of those we've got to be careful and pick your moves carefully and watch yourselves. Uh, this is a nasty opponent. Mm -hmm. um, but it'll be a good challenge, I think. And, and I hope, I, I know Bren, Bren was a little prepped, but I, I hope the rest of you were had a little bit of an oh-no moment. <laughs> when when this thing came out, it's disturbing. I was disturbed. <laughs> I, I know Jimmy had a whoops. <laughs> Ought not have done that. <laughs> Jimmy, go down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to trap you down there, actually inside with the thing for a bit, but I don't think you would have made it out with all of these things converging on you, grappled in the dark. Uh, it would have been a significant struggle. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that mean. And besides, I wanted to have it bust out and scare everybody. That's much, yeah, more, that much more theatric. But uh, we will be back next Saturday with World of Cairn. We will be back Wednesday with Deadlands uh, Out of the Abyss, which is very fun. I think there may still be one more episode of Kids on Bikes on Thursday. And then on the 6th, we begin Gamma World Mayhem, uh, Melody of Mayhem. Uh, thank you, Robo, for lurking. Uh, we always love having you. Best mod ever, hashtag, I believe, um, is what we keep throwing out there for you. We're going to have to start a competition between you guys and start scoring points, though, just to make it fair. <laughs> I don't know what you guys would do to compete. But... Uh, those of you watching, those of you at home, thank you very, very much. Please join our Discord. We have a lot of new one-shots and, and new events, uh, charity events and streams coming up. A lot of big plans. So definitely join our Discord. You want to get in on that. We want to seek out new players. We want to get fresh meat. I mean, new people, mm -hmm. new faces in. Uh, we do have a lot of fun. But yeah, uh, we will see you there. And... Uh, Good night. I'm going to try to raid. We're going to try it one more time. I'm going to keep trying, but if it doesn't work, we're just going to go off stream. If we do, stay tuned. You might see something cool, but uh, either <laughs> way, <laughs> have a good night, everybody. Good night, everyone.